please watch on to find out more. Supreme Master Ching Hai's lectures are not a complete meditation instruction. Please do not try alone. For free of charge guidance, please visit godsdirectcontact.org or contact any of our centers near you. Today's episode will be presented in English, Spanish, and Chinese. With styles in Arabic, our luxuries, also known as Vietnamese, Bulgarian, Chinese, Czech, English, French, German, Hindi, Hungarian, Indonesian, Japanese. Korean, Malay, Mongolia, Persian, Polish, Portuguese, Romanian, Russian, Spanish, and Thai. Congratulations, listeners! We have met again. I am delighted to be here. I am a happy Chinese Korean. 성조군에서 온 마리입니다. 한국은 수천 년의 역사를 지니고 있습니다. 한국이라는 국명은 고려 왕조에서 유래했습니다. 고려는 높고 아름답다는 뜻으로 한국 산수의 특징인 높은 산과 맑은 물을 잘 표현하고 있습니다. 한반도의 척추는 태백산맥으로 가장 웅장한 산인 백두산은 영적 구도심을 지닌 한국인들에게 신성한 장소로 여겨지고 있습니다. 신비로운 아름다움과 청정한 자연에 이끌려 수많은 순례자들과 관광객이 이 산을 방문하고 있습니다. 2018년 4월 27일 한반도의 용감한 두 지도자 문재인 대통령과 김정은 위원장은 역사적인 남북 정상회담 이후 두 손을 맞잡았습니다. 세계가 그 감동의 순간을 주목했고 이는 역사의 한 핵을 남겼지요. 성공적인 정상회담으로 한반도는 영원한 평화의 도래를 알리는 희망과 연대, 합의 분위기에 취했습니다. 2018년 6월 12일 역사적인 싱가포르 정상회담에서 김정은 위원장과 도널드 트럼프 미국 대통령이 한반도의 평화 정진을 위한 공동 성명에 서명하면서 우리의 미래를 보다 밝고 조화롭게 밝히며 전 세계인들의 마음에 큰 기쁨을 선사했습니다. 여러분과 유쾌한 한국에 대해 함께 나누게 되어 영광입니다. 여러분의 풍요로운 축복과 영적인 성장을 기원합니다. 수십 년간 칭하이 무상사께서는 신성한 가르침으로 세상을 밝혀주셨습니다. 완전히 깨달은 스승인 칭하이 무상사님은 눈의 순환에서 영원한 해탈을 이루고 내면의 신성한 본성을 즉시 발견하고자 하는 사람들에게 가는 법문을 전하고 계십니다. 가는 법문은 스가모니 예수 그리스도, 선지자 무하메드, 구루나나카 같은 
모든 깨달은 스승들께서 수행하신 법문입니다. 스승님께서는 우리가 늘 신을 기억하고 다른 이들에게 헌신적으로 봉사하며 우주의 법칙을 지키면 인간으로서 가장 높은 잠재력에 도달하고 지구상에서 우리의 목적을 진정으로 이해할 것이라 강조합니다. 칭하이 무상사께서는 피난민, 노숙자, 자연재해 희생자 및 구호가 필요한 분들께 정기적으로 물질적 재정적 지원과 사랑을 전하시는 빛나는 자비의 모범입니다. 2006년 칭하이 무상사께서는 동양의 노벨 평화상이라 불리는 구시 평화상을 수상하셨으며 놀라운 자선 활동과 인도주의적 활동으로 많은 상과 영예를 안았습니다. 아름다운 동물 친구들을 대변하는 진실된 목소리로 스승님은 평화롭고 사랑이 담긴 채식을 홍보하고 인류가 생명의 신성함을 깨닫고 모두 비건 채식을 하는 평화롭고 영광스러운 세상이 오면 동물들과 인류가 행복한 조화 속에 살수 있다는 비전을 알리고 계십니다. 칭하이 무상사께서는 다양한 방법으로 비건 채식을 확산하고 있습니다. 대안적인 삶 전담 배포, 국제적인 비건 채식 레스토랑 체인 러빙업, 수프림 마스터 TV뿐 아니라 정기적으로 영향력 있는 정보 및 미디어 지도자들에게 메시지를 전하고 기후변화에 관한 TV회에 참여하는 등 알려지지 않은 많은 일도 하고 계십니다. 스승님의 노력은 동물들에게 친절한 생활 방식에 대하여 그리고 이 자비로운 방식이 어떻게 기후변화로부터 지구를 구하며 국가 간의 지속적인 평화를 가져올 수 있는지에 관한 전 세계적 인식 변화에 큰 영향을 미쳤습니다. 칭하이 무상사께서는 수년간 아메리카에서 아프리카, 유럽, 오세아니아로 전 세계를 방문하시며 다양한 영적인 주제에 관해 대중과 제자들과 함께 수백 회의 강연과 담화를 가지셨습니다. 스승과 제자 사이에서 그녀의 통찰 있는 강연을 전하게 되어 영광입니다. 평화와 사랑의 음식 육부 중 육부 2012년 3월 23일 프랑스에서 영어, 스페인어, 중국으로 말씀하신 강연입니다. Yeah, before I I not met you, yes, I I don't really want to live in this world anymore. I feel like empty. I feel mm. like nothing in here for me to live for mm. until I get initiation. Mm. Until now, I feel like I'm a baby master. Mm. I always I don't know. When I sleep, when that's I... why you cry a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when that's I what sleep. babies do. <laughs> I tell you too much. I you can imagine how I eat. Sometimes I just eat just vegetable, anything, everything. Yes. anything. I feel like yeah. I feel everywhere. Even mm. sometimes, my husband he kind of a little bit jerry. He said, "Why look like you don't miss me anymore?" I say, "Well, how can I miss you when I have master?" You know. <laughs> oh, don't <laughs> so, say such things. So, but we just talk about it, okay. you know, master. And I hope he think as a joke. No, no, he no. He 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 do same thing. <laughs> he do same thing. <laughs> so I oh, I, I kind of you, you too. I'm, I'm sorry. I have to say that with the sister, since I met you and I get initiation. I feel like I'm free, master. Yes, but you have a husband. She doesn't. <laughs> it's 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 easy when you have money and say I don't really need money. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm talking about like freedom, master. Yeah, like, feel free. She does yeah. also feel free. Yes. yes. So okay. that's why I say I'm like a baby. You yeah. know, sometimes day and night I don't even know it. 
Yeah. Yeah. When don't I don't care. Yes. Yeah. I don't care anymore. And she is different. She has to fight alone for the war. You yeah. know. She works alone. She's a boss. Her her own boss. And she has a housekeeper and two dogs and no <laughs> husband. <laughs> she lives in South Africa. But I have a lot of uh, trouble in, in my life too. But I always say, well, just a test. What can you do? Mm -mm. They already come, so you have yeah. to learn to accept it. You uh -huh. know, that's how yeah. I, I talk about it when I yeah. go home. And sometimes I just let go and, uh -huh. and go next day and see what's going the next on. Day. Yes. Uh, okay, see how it goes, yeah? Yes. You hear that, South African? Yeah. Just learn to do like her. Get a husband first and then talk like that. <laughs> And then say, don't need him anymore. <laughs> yes, you know, it's very difficult to live in a big city. You feel pressure and more lonely than when you, when you live alone in a mountain, truly like that. If you don't believe me, just go in a mountain alone somewhere without nobody. You will feel no lonely at all, no fear, nothing. Don't ever feel lonely at all. Mm. I tell you the truth like that. I, if I'm free, no obligation, no dogs, no disciples, no work, I would stay in that mountain forever and forever. <laughs> Even if I die, I just stay there forever. <laughs> Truly like that, that's a feeling. You know, you, you're just so reluctant to leave, to leave this place. Because you feel just so good, and nowhere else you feel that good. When you're with people, you don't ever feel that good. You know, so free and so happy, yeah? Not much there because I can't carry much, you know. Sometimes I go with taxi, but I couldn't carry much. And you have to climb the staircase and all that to bring the food. But I don't really eat that much. But just so happy, feel so satisfied. And in the city, sometimes you, you have the fridge filled with food, but you don't feel like anything interesting. Hmm? Or oh, here, you know, they cook me like a banquet every day here, but I would rather eat my just cold tofu and a slide of bread in a mountain there, because the feeling is very good. I don't mean not to appreciate your food. If you go to the mountain and cook like that, maybe okay also. <laughs> I take both, you know, <laughs> the mountain and your food. No, no, if you come there and cook, then I probably don't feel the same anymore. It's, it's still connected, you see, connected with the world. But over there, when you're not connected, when you cut off everything, South African, then you feel so happy. You know, all the Zen master tell you to put down, that's what it means. Cut it all off. <laughs> cut, 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 cut. <laughs> all right, okay. What she, she means that why is she so happy and you are not? You tell her the secret <laughs> after, okay? <laughs> Just different personality, different background, different karma, different job, hmm? okay. She's just trying to be baby with me, but she's okay. She's happy. Always get new boyfriend. What can you... <laughs> how can you not <laughs> be happy, you know? <laughs> and look so pretty and young all the time, yeah? She's happy inside. She just want to play, you know, like that. So I say, oh, it's okay, honey, don't cry. I love you so much. You're all right. You're good. You're good. <laughs> Hinting for compliment. <laughs> All right, anyone else? I don't know why we get talking again. We are supposed to meditate half an hour ago. <laughs> Talk is also nice, why not? Eh? Long time you haven't seen me, right? Yes. Anybody want to talk? Yeah, here, here, here. The orange. Yeah, the orange. Come on. <laughs> Actually, I just feel that uh, I cannot get along with any people. <laughs> Same here, John the Club. <laughs> yes, e e even my son, I love him, but yes, uh, no, I know. no, I know. not anyone. Now I find that only you. But uh, if we go to stay with you, and then mm. that's a different story. Yes, but yes. Uh, uh, have you in our in our life? invisible protection uh -huh. in yes. our life? That mm. is the best <laughs> thing. Yeah, is what it? we can get. Okay. Not anyone, anyone, I cannot, you know, just stay with them. Even I come to center, mm -hmm. I know always is the mm -hmm. uh, karma is working out. Mm -hmm. It's unbearable. <laughs> so it's better to be alone. Really? Yeah, that's the best thing. <laughs> okay, I understand. Yes, yes, it's right. Most people who come and help me around, they, they have uh, a lot of karma before. 
like in the old time, if they report to the authority that I am like a witch or something, that's it, I'm finished. You understand? And some people like cause trouble for me that I lost all my property and lost my life and all that because of the karma. Not because I don't get on well with everybody. I got to get on well fabulously. You see, all the taxi drivers fall in love with me. <laughs> all the workers, they really love me so much. You know, they really love me. I feel their love. They don't say they love me, but I do feel it so much. Everyone that I met, mostly everyone I met or work with in any uh, time, anywhere, I feel just love and connection from them. Sometimes even I go outside, sit in a restaurant somehow, waiting for my car to pick up or train or airplane something. And I just see some people sitting in front of me, having a coffee or talking to their son or their husband. I just feel so much love for them. I just even want to come and hug them and say, I love you, but that they would think I'm cuckoo, so I just love them from distant, remote control love, you know. I just feel love so much. Even they don't know me, and sometimes they, maybe they feel it, so they glance at me sometimes like it's, it's something, but they don't know what. And of course, I avert to my glance somewhere else, you know? They're too, too suspicious, they think I want something from them. I just feel so much love. And sometimes I, I drive with a taxi driver and pass by some other taxi, you know, or anybody, talk on the street. I just feel so much love for them. They don't notice me, of course. I don't know why, I just feel love for everybody. Between us, we have only unconditional love. That's why you can get on with me well. You know, I don't want anything from you except for your best interest. You know that very well, you see? And uh, this kind of friend is hard to find. So, of course, you love me and you feel comfortable with me. Anyone, if anyone like that to you, not just me as the master, but anyone like that, you would love them also. Just so comfortable to be around. And very difficult to find some comfortable company in this world. Even your husband, your son, your daughter, your parents, even, sorry about that. This is not all your fault. <laughs> it's not your fault. But just try to love them at least, okay? Try. Try. <laughs> what to do? <laughs> It's the karma, yeah? yeah? It's my fault. First of all, I have vowed to save the worst. <laughs> before, when, before, I was just working for the Vietnamese refugees even. Yeah? I stayed with some Buddhist monks. Yeah? And uh, we have an altar, you know? And we burn some incense and, uh, for the new Buddha statue. You know, it's just a tradition. And the, the monks, my teacher, monks and nuns, told me that if you wish something, you have to wish sincerely in your heart. Then uh, when the Buddha okay with it, then all the incense will curl and not uh, just burn straight and fall down. So I wish that, uh, I said, uh, even though human life is not so good, but I don't mind if I have to be reborn as human again in order to give all my merit to all the worst people, the worst people, the most, uh, the most sinful people, the most people that suffer most, that people, other people cannot rescue. I want to share all whatever I have, merit, you know, spiritual, to them, so that even if I have to be punished, you know, to be born in human life again and suffer is okay. <laughs> I wish like that in my heart. I haven't told you, or maybe I have told, but not so detailed. Yeah, I did? Okay. And then all the incense curl, all of them, not one that, that, that not curl. And all, both my teachers, they're still alive. They were Vietnamese uh, monks, and, and they were very surprised, very surprised. They said they haven't seen all the incense, even a big bunch of them, not just uh, one or two, eh? all of them. Burn, they burn to the end, but all of them don't fall. Just curl, the ashes curl like, like you know, the sheep a hair, yeah, from the end to the beginning, like this. All of them, and none of them disturb the others, and none of them fall down. The ash don't fall. You see, the incense so long like this, it burn, but it curl like that. I never thought it happened. I also never saw it before. <laughs> when they told me hey, the incense will curl, I, I just thought, okay, you know, just like my mother always tell me, eat the vegetable, it's good for you. <laughs> I'm just thinking, it won't happen. It did happen. Though my, those teachers, they must have been very 
sincerely and powerful monks, you know, to tell me that and things come true. See what I mean? To tell me and it comes true. Yeah. Wow. I never forget that. I could tell hundred times again and I still feel the same. This this is a very amazed feeling, you know? Yes. Yeah, okay. Oh, but I don't know why I tell you this stuff. Yeah, to save the worst. I say the worst. So whenever worst thing or bad thing happened to me, I remember this. I remember my vow. <laughs> you understand? So be careful what you wish for. Hmm? I don't regret, okay? I don't regret ever. Hmm. I could do more if I can. Yeah, but better that I'm strong and not suffer. Yes. So I can help in a different way, better way, more comfortable for both of us. <laughs> okay? Yes. In the beginning, it was harder for me. You see, harder. Everything in the beginning is hard, but now it's getting better. Okay? Even if it doesn't, couldn't be worse. <laughs> okay? Yeah. But uh, if they get better, it's okay, you know? Mm, just unbearable sometimes, you know? It's changed all the time. <laughs> the way the Maya work is amazing. Yes. And the way the Maya work is amazing. Yes. And sometimes uh, dangerous. For example, one of my assistants, one time we have to drive long distance, you know, like to drive here long distance with three dogs and me and him. Normally, I plan already. I knew that it's more difficult to drive with one person because long distance is better have two persons so I take turn to sleep. So, but nevertheless, I already plan like that. Two people, one car, and the dogs and humans all packed in there, you know, and in one car. It's easier that way, even though we, we are short and we cramp, but it's, it's safer. But the last minute, the other assistant broke many things. I don't know how she do it. Broke the whole refrigerator, the deep freeze and everything. Doesn't work, all the water come out. So we had to take all the food and everything with us. Because if we don't take, then it might go rotten at home and all the bacteria come there. I don't know whenever we can even come back there, maybe months, maybe years, maybe never. You see what I mean? And then we have to take everything with us because last minute I cannot even think of what else to do. So we have to take the second car. So that means one driver, one car, okay? So, okay, it's, it's okay, never mind. I made sandwich for all three of us and then I want to give it to the driver in my car. The other driver already drive separately because uh, one car not enough for many other things, yes? And different other things as well. The fridge, the reason we have so much thing in the fridge because the people before bought so many stuff and stuff it in to the refrigerator and freezer and everything. We can never finish eating it. They buy it for the whole village. <laughs> I don't know, the Chinese, they love to buy food. <laughs> Even though they know they don't stay there forever, but they bought so much, so much. Like, uh, for example, two boxes of black fungus, two another box for yellow flour, many, bo many uh, bottles of big oil, sesame oil, olive oil, sunflower oil, brown rice, white rice, these things are not too bad. But frozen food, a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot, oh my God. <laughs> Even if we don't ever go shopping again, I think we can eat it with men and dogs and me for the whole lifetime, <laughs> many years at least, okay, that much. And dry stuff also, dry texture soy, so much, so much. I can't remember anymore, but a lot, a lot of things, everything, a lot, a lot, a lot. Anyway, I think we can open the restaurant immediately. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I say. And then when they've broken everything, the fridge like that, we have to take everything. You understand? We don't know anybody there. How can we give it to anybody? And if we, we put it in the, the garbage, then it's waste. If we put it anywhere, nobody will ever take it. You know, it's a waste of, of food. It's precious because it's all vegetarian and good, you know? Vegan and good. So we have to take it in the second car. So they really plan it all. I plan, but they are way ahead of me. Normally two drivers, but now become only one each. So now this, the other driver go, there's a minute. I am with dogs, because I don't trust to, to leave my dog with another car again. So even if it cram in my car, I take everything necessary for my dogs and for myself and for 
driver for the, the, I mean, for the initial few days first, yeah, until the other car come or not come. <laughs> okay, no, I prepare for all the best and the worst. No, the, the, my driver, normally he's a normal person. He eats a lot and he drinks a lot, no problem. That day, he didn't eat. <laughs> he didn't drink the Coca-Cola that I give. I didn't eat the sandwich I prepared. He just uh, take a few energy bar, you know, those very thin and small like this. Energy bar, I don't know how it works, but his energy doesn't seem to get anywhere. <laughs> It's bar, you know. So I feel that he's sleepy. The worst is that he didn't eat the sandwich I prepared and he didn't drink the Coca-Cola even or the coffee. Because for a long distance drive, even if you don't feel sleepy, you should just take some precaution just for one time, you know. Normally you don't have to, but normally at home he drink coffee. He loves coffee. He likes Coca-Cola. That day, nothing. Just always no thank you, no thank you. And I didn't want to force him. But at the last minute, I feel like, you know, he's almost, he's sleepy. Yeah, and he keep beating himself already. <laughs> oh my God, I said, here, let me help you. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't beat him very well, but he said, he stings a little bit. I said, now you're awakened? He said, yes, yes, I'm feeling good. I said, no, you're not. And he keep drinking that water. Water makes you feel heavy also, you know? If you don't eat anything, just drink water. Suddenly he became like a ascetic monk for that day when I need him in, uh, for his full normal function and energy and awaken. No, normally he drink coffee like mad. He coffee <laughs> addictive. That day don't want drink. Coca-Cola also don't want. You know, sandwich normally he loves. No, no wants it. Oh, just two or three energy bar. How, how, mo how much energy can you get from the, the, this bar? <laughs> You know, driving long distance and, and, and get up early in the morning because of dogs as well, you know, and, 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 and moving all the stuff, you know, packing stuff. It's stressful. I know that. But no, he didn't listen to me. I said, you're playing with life. There are lives in car, you know. And he said, no, I'm not playing with life. I said, but you're sleepy. He said, no, I'm not. I said, but dangerous like this. No, it's not dangerous. <laughs> Just like that. I can't even talk to him. And I cannot even sleep, I cannot even meditate. They are driving, but I'm exhausted. You know what I mean? I had to watch him because I'm worried his eyes just <laughs> closed for a few seconds. <laughs> you know, in the wrong time. <sighs> and finally, he has to drink the Coca-Cola. But then it's too late. It doesn't work anymore. And then he, he has to stop to sleep. But it was, I don't know why they play this kind of mind games. Why don't you just act normal like every day? You know, in talk about dangerous situation. They do that. Or fumbling with the GPS while driving, you know, on the mountain, uh, <laughs> steep road. GPS, you know, that's my God. <laughs> or take the ticket from the toy and just put somewhere so that it slip down and then driving and <laughs> looking for it. You know, or he even also put the, the, the computer in, in front of uh, his seat. What if it's accelerate the car or, you know, or stop or whatever, you know? I had to move it after I saw it, but it was a long way already before I saw it. How do you put things in front of your, 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 your driving seat like that? Is it safe? No. No, you shouldn't put anything there, right? Yes. Don't they say that in the driving book? No, they don't, huh? No? no? They do? In the instruction book for driving li less license? No, huh? No. But I don't think anybody would put the computer right in front of the, your legs like this. Huh? No, huh? Uh, the, 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 the ticket. You what, love? You see, they give you a ticket. Yes. And he's American, he should know that. Maybe he never did that, except that day. Also, like he never refused Coca-Cola or, or, or coffee, except that day, just when he needed. I mean, it's not a normal reaction of a man who are responsible for lives in the car to drive long distance. You see what I mean? If you are a driver, you know that. You should eat a little bit, yeah? And then if you feel a little bit, uh, you know, less than awake, then you should take in some coffee or something before you drive, because it don't work right away. It works after a while, you know? 
Even if you're not sleepy, just take a coffee when I invite it or a Coca-Cola, how does it hurt? Normally you jump on it. Just that is refuse everything. Just make me to worry. Even nothing happened, I have to watch him. He drives, but I'm awake. I <laughs> He's sleepy, but I'm awake, you know. I can't believe it. Does your husband do that? He divorced me. Oh. <laughs> You're lucky. <laughs> It's a similar situation, you know? Just want to be ascetic for one day while driving. <laughs> you know? And just drinking uh, water or not drinking anything. How, how can you do that as a driver? I mean, if you want to be breatharian or waterian, you should prepare the years in advance or months in advance, not that day. And just that day, not afterward, not continue. No, no, just that day for fun. And it's just, uh, it's just one of those things, you know? You don't know, it's just terrible. Normally I know it might happen, so I prepare two drivers, but then at last minute they win. <laughs> See what I mean? <laughs> they won. So I say, both of you, you win. Be happy, yeah? <laughs> Drive carefully nevertheless. Oh, this is really terrible because uh, the other driver is, is a female, you know? I'm also worried because she haven't driven so long alone like that. Also, I'm worried because she's not with me, you know, she's driving another car. And I worry about this guy as well, who's so stubborn, who doesn't want to, to be sensible, for one day at least. You know, normally I don't care if he drink coffee or not. But I also want to get to the, uh, to the place, you know, not sleeping on the road all the time. And not sleeping while driving especially, you see what I mean? Because the dog's also sick. Dogs are older already and need to go quickly. Benny, he has issue when he's in the car. He's constantly trembling. He doesn't like a car, you see what I mean? So that makes me also very anxious as well. I don't like to take my dogs around also because they are sick and they're old already. Happy need to take medicine and uh, need to wash and all that. Some, there are things that we need to do in a stable place. We cannot keep going on the, on the road in a tight, packed road like that. You understand? With three dogs and two humans and one who doesn't drink coffee, <laughs> doesn't stay awake while driving, and doesn't want to eat anything. You understand me? And then because he doesn't eat anything, I couldn't, you know, I couldn't force him to drink Coca-Cola either. And then afterward, when it's too late already, I think you have to eat something or drink Coca-Cola, otherwise we have to stop and sleep. It's too dangerous, you know? Not just for me, for him and for the dogs, yeah? I can't risk like that, even though I want to hurry to, to get to the place so that we can settle down and the dog can rest and take medicine and everything. But I can't do it, you know, in this condition. And he knew it. Every driver would know it, right? Any responsible driver, man, woman, young or old, would know it's not a safe situation to do this. We are on the road. Understand that's the way they do it all the time, surprise me all the time. <laughs> I can never plan with them. Even with all my wisdom, I had planned it, everything already. Still, they can switch it off in the last second. You understand? Broken the gate, broken this, broken that, so that we even have to worry and fix it. Delaying and more tiring and more stress. Okay, sorry, forget that. Forget it. Love, love, love. Okay. <laughs> Why you bring this up? Any more trouble? No. No, good. I'm just telling you that it's not because I don't get on well with people. It's just the way they do things. Even if I want to get on with him, I can't. I almost beg him to eat the sandwich I make and beg him to drink the Coca-Cola because I know he's going to flop with the two energy bar that he bar himself in. See, it's not normal. It's, even energy bar is good, but they are sweet, you know, and they make the stomach also not all that good, is it? <sighs> Please turn off the light before I write another book <laughs> of disciples' disaster. <laughs> Now,
낙천적인 시청자 여러분 오늘 스승과 제자 사이에서 평화와 사랑의 음식 육부 세종편을 시청해 주셔서 감사합니다. 긍정적인 방송을 전하는 스프림마스터 TV의 채널을 고정해 주세요. 곧이어 지의 말씀에서 신지학의 성스러운 가르침 침묵의 소리 일곱 개의 정문 최종편이 방영됩니다. 부처님의 축복과 인도로 여러분을 안전하고 건강하며 행복하게 지켜주시길 바랍니다. May the Buddha's bless, guide and protect you, keeping you safe, healthy, and happy. For more details, please visit suprememastertv.com.bmd.